What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, I wanted to do another video in the Willet Solar series. Hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of these because I'm having a lot of fun making these videos and testing out various devices. Today we're going to test out another 12 volt device. It is a bilge pump or uh, you know just a it's basically the same thing as a, a waterfall, fountain, pond, aquarium pump basically. Be a large aquarium I guess but anyway it's a 12 volt pump and uh, so we've got our basic setup that we've been using so if you don't know what I'm talking about if you're new to these videos go check out some of the earlier videos where we explain how this works but we've got our solar panel we've got our test equipment all you know the battery charge controller all that stuff we've got our gauge on the front that tells us our volts and amps so we're going to go ahead and connect this pump to the power and see what happens. Now, um, I'm not going to subject this pump directly to the solar panel. Um, it, there's all kinds of warnings in the instruction manual that you, it doesn't have an internal fuse in it, it doesn't uh, have any protections, so I really don't want to blow this pump up by subjecting it to 20 volts of, uh, of DC power. I'm just going to skip that part. We've, I think we've beaten that horse to death that you you probably can do it it probably will run in an emergency that way but it will it may burn it out really fast and it's certainly not good for the long-term durability of the uh, the unit so i intend to use this pump for another purpose for my uh, aquaponics setup so i really don't want to destroy this thing already but we'll go ahead and uh, connect it to 12 volt power from the battery and we'll see what happens. This particular pump can run dry without damaging the unit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it first dry and we'll see what happens and then we'll go ahead and test it out in some water. I don't know if you can hear that. We'll go ahead and get the microphone up closer to it. So it's definitely working. I'm sure you can hear that. It's kind of a, a whiny sound. So let's go ahead and put it in water and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the pump down in there. You probably can't see it very well, but don't worry because it's about to move. Looks like it's working pretty well to me. Now this particular one is pretty powerful. It puts out 500 gallons per hour. So um, that's why it's kind of <laughs> moving around quite a bit because it's pretty powerful for this little bucket. But uh, I think that's a pretty good demonstration. It will work obviously off solar. That's probably not a huge revelation to anyone. But uh, I've had a lot of people contacting me um, with, you know, sailboats or uh, small water vessels of some sort that they've been interested in putting solar on and so I just wanted to show that definitely solar can can power a lot of things that are meant for boats um, refrigerate small refrigerators small air conditioners um, trolling motors uh, bilge pumps um, GPS stuff like that those are those are all great and they can all be powered by solar depending on how much solar you have and, and, uh, and wind too if you have access to wind. Anyways just uh, wanted to show that video real quick. Thanks for watching guys as always and stay tuned for next time.